Alright guys. I'm gonna jump on. Okay, so I'm gonna do my hair. I'm gonna just blend it and not do my hair today. I'm like so still ill. But I'm back with a new video. Let's go. you can like you thought well I thought after the first video I was gonna legit cry um and burn my phone and never do this again but we're here so it's all good like God is good all the time so I'm going to do a get to know me because I feel like bah my, my people which I want to give a shout out like you guys were like proper blowing up my phone like the support was unreal like I tell people I don't have friends and you guys were just like yes girl and I'm like yes like you guys just give me like you gassed me up for this I was like yeah I'm gonna do it again like my girls are good like and guys shout out to the boys um so I'm gonna do a get to know me so a few questions I was like people give me good questions but it's really get to know me so they're not that deep so first question was what's my name so as you can see it is Jessica Farrell Jessica Elisa Farrell, my middle name's Lisa. I didn't like it forever. And then I was like, you know what it is? My mama named me, so obviously I love it. So now I throw it in everywhere. I'm like, Elisa, Elisa, if you don't know, now you know. Happy with that. Um, where am I from? So, born and bred, Bradford, West Yorkshire. Can you tell? I'm so Yorkshire. I don't think you get any more Yorkshire than me. And my voice like but I have lived in Leeds for like five years maybe a bit more but I, I, I'd say five years to be safe because I can't actually remember when I moved here I feel like I've lived in Leeds forever love Leeds because it's not Bradford like I, I love Bradford though like I had to like the food in Bradford oh my gosh if you haven't eaten in Bradford please stay off my phone like Bradford has the best food leads is like a struggle you want good food like you've got to literally go on like TripAdvisor, get reviews like i just can't find just quick easy good food i literally just eat nando's every day like mcdonald's because that's all i know is going to be all right um but yeah so living leads it's really nice i enjoy it um bigger city i don't go in the city center that loop is a joke um I don't like city centres anyway, I, I tend to go to shopping centres, but yeah, I live in Leeds. But I'm actually originally from Dominica, obviously you can tell my skin colour, I'm like originally from here. My mum and my dad are both Dominican, so I'm Dominican, full Dominican, pedigree. Next question, sorry I'm looking at my questions, I'm not like, because everyone was complaining, I kept looking at before on the other video, but the reason why is because I had a window. So I'm really nosy and I kept wanting to look out the window. And I was like, why do you keep looking at the window? Why do you keep looking? I'm like, all right then, fine. I've turned the camera around. As you can see, the window is now behind me. I cannot be nosy. I will watch you all all the way through. So do I have any siblings? <sighs> do I? So I've got four sisters. But I always say I've got 100 because there's so many, like my cousins, we grew up together all in the house. Like, they didn't live with us, but like six week holidays, got one cousin. She'd come. And she just won't leave for the full six week holidays. So literally I class her as my sister as well. But I've got four like genuine sisters. And there's an older one than there's me. Then there's three younger ones. So that's four sisters. Yeah. And then I've got a brother. My brother lives in Dominica. Love my sisters. Like, oh, the so it's like growing up just girls is absolutely amazing. Like I love it. Next question. Single or taken? 
sorry about that. I was like really interrupted. Like people just came in my house and was like making up bare noise. And I'm like, filming guys. <laughs> I'm one of the annoying people now. I'm filming, can you get out please? Anyway, Drake said, you're too fly to be laying down in bed alone. <laughs> I'm talking about me. I got a man, don't had a man. I'm joking. I do have a, I do have a boyfriend. We've been in forever, so. I don't, I'm not that person to be like, mm, all public and all on that gram. And I just, do you know what it is? I just feel like some things in life, you have to have for yourself in it. Like, I feel like, I'm happy to give you all advice if you want it, but I'm not here to be like blasted out my personal life that personal. Not yet, because I just feel like I'm not in that place. I feel like you don't even know me, so I need to know anyone else. Um, this is about me, so yeah. Got a question, when's the wedding? <laughs> um the thing is, the wedding thing, do you know it's a lot? It's like having a baby. I feel like you can you have to plan for it, but then there's never a right time. So there's never a right time. I'm really busy, believe it or not. I know I do tend to nap a lot, but in between the napping, I actually am busy. So I will be getting married. Just don't know when. I might just turn up one day with a ring on and be like, honey went to Vegas and it's done. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not that deep. But then again, obviously, everyone wants the whole... Me and my two dresses, obviously. But I'll keep posted. If I do that one more time, I swear. I'm not cancelling this here on YouTube. I don't know where this click and this come from, but it needs to stop now. That's it. No more of that. Cancelled. Did I go to uni? Did I go to school? Okay, I did go to school. But I feel like sometimes school is for some people and school is not. So I went to school. I was like, I finished school. I got my GCSEs. Went to college. Did that. Uni, I just was never interested. Looking back, I would have loved to go for the experience, not the education kind of thing, side of things. So I do believe you can achieve anything, like most things without having that behind you, unless you're doing like specifics, like being a doctor. But yeah, uni, I just felt like when I watch people being at uni, like they've had loads of fun. And like in my like household, my big sister went to uni, graduated, I didn't. Then the next one below me, she graduated. The one below me didn't. And the youngest one, she's too young yet, but she'll probably will. And that's just how we've done it. We don't want to mess up the rotation. Um, My favourite subject and my worst at school. So I'm naturally good at maths. Like, when God made me, he was like, you're going to be good at maths. Just naturally. Like, I didn't study really. I didn't. I was just oh, so not interested in school. Like, in school, I was like fancying boys and stuff. I really wasn't interested. Like, I'd be in the wrong class because the boy I liked was in a different class. Like, that was me. Like, I just was not interested. Um, I liked art. I loved drawing. I haven't drawn for years, but I absolutely love it because I was good at it. It was something I did all the time. Like, even like if it was someone's birthday in the house, I would draw them a card. Like, did, like full on Picasso. But you explained to my dad, I like art. He didn't think that was a subject. He was like drawing, like blocking my blessings. So no, I didn't pursue my career in art. Um, my worst subject, science, history, geography. Just ugh, negative words. I just, I just can't. Science, I swear I got a double E, like in science, like legit. I just, I just switched off. I just don't even know. I did double science because I didn't want to do PE, because I didn't want to bring my PE kit. And so that was just a waste of everyone's money and time and my energy because I just wasn't even paying attention, like to this day, not interested. Sad, but it's true. Ah, oh, my favorite color, black, full stop. Bad habit. Now, okay, this is not a habit, it's just me. And so my bad habit is my mouth. If anyone asks, like, if you ask any of my family, boyfriend, they'll say my mouth, my mouth's disgusting. And it's not like intentionally disgusting, it just is, like, you just, if someone, like, you know, if you don't like something someone's wearing, I'll say, I don't like what you're wearing, but the delivery, it's my delivery. It's not that, it's my delivery. I am the nicest person ever, but my delivery is off. 
it's sideways, it's left. Like, if you met my dad, you'd understand why, because he's exactly the same. We don't know how to critique in a nice manner. Do you know what I mean? Like, and I'm working on it, guys. Do you know what I mean? That's my goal. Focus on you. I'll, I'll do me in it. I'll work on that. I'll be better. How tall am I? 5'8.5. Five five. Because, I know this, because I was I thought I was 5'9 forever. And then I actually got measured, measured like, officially, they were like, you're 58 just over and i was like okay so that's where i am five eight five nine i'd say quite tall so yeah it's a struggle buying trousers i just feel like if you're like five seven you're good anything above that like they're just messing with you like everything's an ankle grazer at this point pedal pushes that's what i'm wearing all the time um what countries have i been to okay so love going on holiday um where have i been france Portugal, Amsterdam, Vegas, times three, um, France twice, Morocco, Tenerife, where else? Greece, I went to Greece this year. Where else have I been? Dominica, obviously, I've been Dominica twice and I'm going again next year. But it's like a big family thing. I'm so gassed. Like, Dominica is my favourite place on earth. Like, if you haven't been, just go and you'll understand why. It's just so chill. It's a bit of me. I love it. So, yeah, Dominica. Um, fashion inspo. Fashion. Fashion sense. Okay, so. People I kind of love. Okay, it's Kim Kardashian. Her style. Love raw hair. She, she rarely gets it wrong. Like, even if she's just chilling, she don't get it wrong. Like, her style is just a bit of me. Like, everything she does is for me. Like, I love the way she dresses. She's a vibe. Like, yeah, I do. I like him. Victoria Beckham. I feel like Victoria Beckham was my first style. It's both from, like, Spice Girls. I used to always want to be posh. I could be scary spies. Listen, if you're doing... For your comfort, man, if you're all black, then we all can't be scary spies. So I was posh, Okay. And that's just how the cookie crumbles. And we're good with that. So I love Paul. Because she was in little black dresses. She was doing this. And I didn't really have a talent. I couldn't sing. So I would just... Just like her. So I like Victoria Beckham. On Instagram... My fave would have to be Charlotte Emily Sanders. Like, she is effortless and classy. Like, she just... Gets it right. Every time. I watch her Instagram and think, mate. Your wardrobe. Impeccable. Just... I love it. If she puts some up, she's bought it, I'll probably grab it. Like, sunglasses, she just never gets it wrong. So yeah, Charlotte Emily Sanders. But yeah, I'm very... It is. Oh, it falls nicer to next one, casual, or dressing up. Um, When, I, I'd say like early 20s, it was all about dresses. Because you'd want to go every weekend, it was out every weekend. Like, all of a sudden, I'd be just buying little dresses and heels, dresses, heels, obsessed with it. Now I'm a bit older, I'm more like cash, like I'm cash, but cash but cute. Like I still feel like you could dress up cash and still be like, I like it, it's a vibe. I, some, I sometimes think less is more. Like if you are just putting on vests and some joggers, you can still look as cute. Like the thing with dressing up is I love the process. Like I love, sitting there right coming out the shower starting my makeup like i love getting ready like i love that even if i'm going a night out i'm looking excited i'm like i'm looking forward to getting ready i don't know it's my favorite bit i don't even care about the night out i just love the process of getting ready and then seeing the end product and being like yeah this is it outfit of the day look of the day do you know what i mean i'm full i'm for it okay what's your biggest phobia I know why you're asking me this. Who asked me this? My biggest phobia is anything with wings. So this is a like this isn't a phobia, this is a passion. Like, okay, so pigeons, are you joking? I don't know what, like, I know God don't make mistakes, but I don't know what kind of demonic creature that was created. Like, please, I'm gonna be sick thinking about it. But like, uh, no, I can't. I can't. Pigeons. Mm. 
like you know the fat ones that you get in child make and people be feeding them like feeding and feeding them them chips and now the real hench and the neck is like oh my gosh and like so i don't this is what i said to you earlier i don't go shopping at town center i spend the whole time trying to avoid pigeons it's so long like i will just go to a shopping center it's really a closed place i don't care if the shop i want is not in there like i'll have to suffer this is why i shop online i just cannot deal with birds i mean if i need to leave my house and my car's there and there's a bird there guarantee i will wait in the house till that bird has flown away i cannot have it nowhere near me if i think about chicken long enough i will stop eating chicken that is how scared i am feathers swans seagulls see about that seagull that stole a dog <laughs> y'all think i'm joking when the birds attack don't call my phone because i said i told you so you wanna laugh at me now because I feel like it started, no shade to my mum, but like when I was younger, she showed us a film called Birds, YouTube it. It was like in the 70s. And these birds all started tripping and attacking people and pecking at their head. From that day, I didn't trust no bird. I didn't want to be near no bird. Like, I've got so many horror stories about birds. I need a whole new video about it. Because like, the way I've been personally attacked by birds it's a lot it's i could actually cry i'm not even being dramatic i could be yeah that's probably another bad habit i am a bit dramatic but not with birds i'm not i'm being serious okay fondest childhood memory i don't remember last week no like real talk i don't remember last week Childhood memory. I know. I feel like it was funny when we was younger. I feel like cause a lot happened when I was a child because there was all these girls like growing up together. My fondest childhood memory was probably when we used to rush home to play America and Ashton on the PlayStation 2. And we'd all run home and we'd all grab a PlayStation pad on like PlayStation 2. Oh my days. And we would drill Mary Kate and Ashley. Like it was lit. Like it had songs. We knew all the songs. Like it was just the best era. And we and also like we used to make up dances. We used to make up dances and songs and routines. Like all of that. Like summer was lit. Like because we all had each other. Like we were so together all the time no worries like it was just so good being a child in general like it was just a good time and guys i think that's it i think i bored you to death but yeah they're my i feel like you should know me a bit better right now like know who i am i don't know how good this lighting is because i can't see because this ring light's blinding me not used to it yet but yeah, so thank you for watching. And again, just thank you for the love. Like, I honestly appreciate it. Like, it is amazing. Like, that everyone's been so nice to me. You're cute. Um, but yeah, please watch this one. Please like this one. And if you haven't subscribed yet, and you've like just fallen on this randomly, or someone's told you to watch it, subscribe, help a girl out. I'm here. There will be a lot more videos because i actually like it because i can talk and no one can tell me to shut up so bye